that was close. What's up everybody, got the tracks of sledge back out for another pounding. This time we'll be testing some M2C S series drive shafts, which is a very exciting news for this truck to get some awesome drive shafts that won't bend, won't snap, along with these beautiful M2C S series drive cups right here. You guys can see these if I can catch it in the camera. It does have a little uh, connected area right there at the end to uh, keep your uh, drive shaft from uh, sliding out, popping out. And also the drive shafts are a couple millimeters longer to also help prevent that. I'll give you a quick shot back here. Maybe kind of hard to see it in the camera. The shafts are a little bit fatter in the center and of course taper down to the ends and to the cups just to give it that ultra durability. I am running the uh, Unbreakable Body by TMT Bodies on here. This is a Creighton body that I engineered to fit this sledge. I pretty much just uh, engineered the cage to go in here. I can pop it off real quick. It's not a perfect job, but it, uh, it works and I haven't had any issues with this body breaking, of course. A big shout out to a can from TMT Bodies. I'm still running M2C's uh, reverse motor mount option in here, which is perfect to fit this big can motor to get the ultimate power. This is the 4092 Hobby Star uh, 1480 kV, uh, 2346 gearing paired with the Max 6. Uh, just insane speed and power and torque uh, paired with these backflip LPs. I do have the 6.5 millimeter wheel extensions on here too to uh, give her that extra width. Still running this beautiful Basher Queen carbon fiber tower. So big shout out again to a Kimberly from Basher Queen. Of course, the M2C chassis on this sucker is still holding strong. The backbone to the truck. If you're going to upgrade anything on these trucks, guys, I would recommend the M2C chassis first and then kind of go from there with your breakages. But this really holds the truck together. All right, guys, not going to babble on too much. I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of the uh, drive shafts, the uh, new drive cups coming. A huge upgrade for this truck to uh, keep them shafts in, keep it from bending, no more snapped off CVD, stuff like that, and uh, drive shafts popping out, which can get really annoying. But we're going to give her a quick run and see what's up. This thing has so much power with that 1480. <laughs> Dang battery shot out. All right, man, got my buddy Jonah here. What's up, dude? What's up, mate? Got his Big Rock 3S. A little tank. We're gonna play around, see what we can get into. Oh, <laughs> nice save. Some anti-lock brakes. <laughs> Oh, dude, oh! <laughs> Your battery ejected out. Oh! <laughs> You're learning. Oh! Nice butt landing. Nice. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> that was the ultimate roof landing.
one, it was close. At least out of this puddle hopping to keep these electronics nice and cool. <laughs> that was rough because I got a lot of slipping out here on this uh, wet pavement so it's hard to get that that bump a throttle to get that back flip in and that was pretty brutal yeah unplug the battery well, guys it sounds like I got a diff going out so what do you do when you got a diff going out? Just send it. <laughs> oh, she's sounding rough. <laughs> At least the M2C drive shafts are holding strong. Oh, that was close. Somehow we landed that. <laughs> Tried to get a front flip, but she did all twisty. We got it corrected. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the first test of the M2C drive shafts. This thing's got a bad diff in it, so I'm off to go through it. I think it's the back one, but we'll just have to see. Uh, the diffs in this thing have held up since I bought the truck, so I'm pretty impressed they've held up this far. Just a quick shot of the drive shafts, still perfectly straight. The pins look good. And this thing is taking a complete hammering. Super big airs, big rolls. And everything is perfect. No shafts popping out. These are a couple millimeters longer, which will keep these things in the drive cups, which is really cool. Again, guys, this Hobby Star 1480KV is a complete powerhouse in here paired with the Max 6. Again, it's 2346 gearing. This thing has almost too much power. Uh, just back flips on the band, low back flips. It just has a load of torque, even running these uh, back flip LPs. I got maximum air control. I did have to rig a D block back here because the stock one broke. So hopefully that's going to be another offering from M2C Racing soon. I basically had to use a piece of aluminum and drill it out to uh, hold the hinge pins in there, but it got me through the bash. Uh, big shout out to a Kimberly from Basher Queen. Her tires are doing phenomenal. M2C does have some drive cups coming soon. We'll be testing those here shortly. Uh, I've broken a few on this truck since I've had it, so that'd be an another nice upgrade to a pair with these uh, awesome drive shafts. But everything on this truck is held together. She's a complete beast, and uh, we'll get her out again soon. All right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.